Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have an isosceles right triangle which is divided into three parts. The yellow region with 25 square unit area and the blue region with an 84 square unit area and the green region which is the area of an unknown square units. And this unknown region is actually A right triangle and we are to find the area of this green region okay so first thing that we have to do is we need to draw a line from this right angle of the green triangle we continue that shorter leg and we draw another line which is perpendicular to it but connecting to this vertex of the blue triangle and this should be a 90 degree angle okay. okay so next is we label the angles so this red triangle if we are to label this smaller leg this is if we label this as alpha then this should be a complementary angle and let us label this complementary angle as beta and next is we focus on this green triangle and since this green and the yellow share or have the sum of a 90 degree angle then this angle of this green triangle is actually a complement and this should be beta and if this is a right triangle the green triangle then this should be the complementary angle which is alpha and therefore we can see that these two right triangles this green and the highlighted red have two angles that are congruent and as you can see the sides or their hypotenuse are of the same length and therefore these two triangles are congruent because of angle side angle congruence theorem because as you can see we have two congruent angles for these two right triangles the red and the green and in between them are two sides that are congruent to each other so this is by again congruence of angle side angle okay so next is we label the shorter leg of this green triangle as a and this longer leg is b and since this red triangle is congruent to the green triangle then this length is actually a and this longer leg is actually b and this portion is actually b minus a okay so next is we focus on the yellow triangle the yellow triangle has an area of 25 square units and as you can see this is the if we make this as the height this a this shorter leg and this actually is if you look at the yellow triangle the base is actually also a a length of a so we have one half times a times a is equal to 25 so a square is equal to if you first multiply we have 50 then a is actually equal to the square root of 50 but 50 can be written as 5 square times 2 and a is equal to 5 square root of 2 okay so next is we focus on this blue triangle the blue triangle is an area of 84 square units and the base is actually we can make the base as b this length this length so one half times the base which, which is b and the uh, height we could 
make this b minus a let's write correctly clearly so we have one half times b times b minus a is equal to 84 if we cross multiply we have b times b minus a is equal to 168 and we have b square minus a b is equal to 168 and earlier we have a as has which has the value of 5 square root of 2 so we have b square minus 5 square root of 2 b is equal to 168 so next is we will be solving this quadratic equation into i mean by completing the squares okay so next is we add the third term on this uh, left hand side to make this a perfect square trinomial so this is actually we need to divide this by 2 the second the coefficient the numerical coefficient of the second term so we have 5 over 2 then square root of 2 we need to square this and we need to add that also to the right hand side because we added a value on the left hand side so this becomes a 5 over 2 square root of 2 but if you simplify that we have 5 over 2 square root of 2 square and that would be 25 over 4 times 2 and that would be 25 over 2 so we need to add 25 over 2 on the right hand side okay so now that this is actually a perfect square trinomial the left hand side so we can actually write that as b minus 5 square root of 2 all over 2 but you need to square that is equal to 168 times 2 plus 25 over 2 okay so if we simplify the right hand side this becomes 336 then plus 25 it will be 361 over 2 next is we get the square root of both sides then if we get that then this becomes b minus 5 over 2 square root of 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 361 is actually 19 all over 2 or the square root of 2 sorry and if we simplify this 19 square 19 over square root of 2 we have 19 times square root of 2 over square root of 2 over square root of 2 so this becomes 19 square root of 2 over 2 okay so next is we focus on these two answers we have b if we transpose this negative 5 over 2 square root of 2 to the right hand side we have b is equal to 5 over 2 square root of 2 plus or minus the 19 all over 2 square root of 2 and since if we will try to use this negative value this will result in a negative distance in a negative value value of b and since there is no negative distance it would be invalid so we'll be only getting this positive value so 19 plus 5 is equal to 24 over 2 square root of 2 so this becomes 12 
So B is actually 12 square root of 2. Okay, and now finally we can now find the area of this green triangle. Since we already know the value of A and B, the two legs, the this leg of the legs of this green triangle, and that will be area of the green triangle is equal to one half times A times B. And area of the green triangle should be equal to one half times A, which is five square root of two. And the value of B, which is 12 square root of 2. And we shall cancel this. Because this becomes 2. We cancel this with this value of the denominator 2. So 12 times 5 is equal to 60 square units. And that is our answer. Now, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.